Hello, beautiful mama-to-be, and welcome to Reboot My Body. If you're watching this, you might have just found out you're pregnant, or maybe you're simply curious about what happens during those first magical weeks. Either way, this video is for you. Today, we're going on a journey through the entire first trimester, week by week, to explore what's happening inside your body, how your baby is developing, and what you can do to feel your best. And hey, if you've ever wondered, is this symptom normal, or what should I eat right now? Stay tuned, because we'll talk about all that and more. Before we dive in, let me know in the comments what's the very first sign that made you suspect you were pregnant. Was it a missed period? A weird craving? Or that sixth sense only mom seemed to have? I'd love to hear your stories. You never know who you might help by sharing. Here's the fascinating thing. The first two weeks of pregnancy? Technically, you're not pregnant yet. Doctors start counting pregnancy from the first day of your last menstrual period. This helps them calculate your due date, even though actual conception usually happens about two weeks later. So what's happening in your body during this time? Your body is preparing the perfect home for a baby. Hormones like estrogen and progesterone start building up the lining of your uterus. Around week two, your ovary releases an egg. This is ovulation. If sperm is present during this window, fertilization can happen, and that's when the real magic begins. Tip for viewers. If you're trying to conceive, this is the best time to track your cycle. Some women use ovulation kits or simply pay attention to body signs like temperature changes or cervical mucus. Picture this. One single sperm meets one single egg and within moments, a unique genetic blueprint is created. Your baby's eye color, hair color, even tiny personality traits are already written into that microscopic cell. This single cell is called a zygote, and it begins dividing like crazy as it travels down your fallopian tube toward your uterus. What blew your mind the most when you first learned about conception? Let's geek out in the comments. I love this stuff. By week four, that cluster of cells, now called a blastocyst, reaches your uterus and implants itself into the cozy uterine lining. This is why some women notice light spotting. It's called implantation bleeding, and it's usually completely normal. By week five, big things are happening. The placenta starts forming, your baby's lifeline for nutrients and oxygen. The neural tube, which becomes the brain and spinal cord, begins developing. And the tiny heart? It's starting to form too. Health note. This is a crucial time to make sure you're taking prenatal vitamins, especially folic acid. According to the CDC, folic acid helps prevent serious neural tube defects. This stretch is called the embryonic period, and it's one of the most exciting and delicate phases of pregnancy. By week six, you might even see or hear that tiny heartbeat during an early ultrasound. It's usually beating about twice as fast as yours. Arms, legs, and facial features start forming. By week 10, your baby is now called a fetus and is about the size of a strawberry. And yes, this is also when pregnancy symptoms really start to kick in. Nausea, fatigue, tender breasts, mood swings. It's a roller coaster. Remember, it's all thanks to hormones working hard to support your baby. Self-care tip. Try eating small, frequent meals to manage nausea. Ginger tea, vitamin B6, and staying hydrated can help too. And if morning sickness gets severe, talk to your doctor right away. There are safe treatments available. Mama's watching. What's your weirdest pregnancy craving so far? Pickles and ice cream? Chips at midnight? Share them below. I promise no judgment. Congratulations. You're nearly a third of the way there. By the end of week 13, your baby is almost three inches long and can even move arms and legs. 
fingers and toes are fully formed. The risk of miscarriage drops significantly after this point, which is why many couples choose this time to share the news with friends and family. This is a great time to start thinking about prenatal classes, planning a healthy exercise routine, and building a strong support system. Let's talk about you. Because a healthy pregnancy isn't just about the baby, it's about the mother too. Focus on nutrition, whole foods, leafy greens, lean protein, and lots of water. Sleep. Your body is working hard. Aim for seven to nine hours. Movement. Gentle exercise like walking, swimming, or prenatal yoga can boost your mood and energy. Mental health. Journaling, meditation, or simply talking with a friend can make a world of difference. Mayo Clinic and ACOG both emphasize the importance of stress management during pregnancy. Wow, we've just traveled through 13 weeks of pregnancy together. Remember, every pregnancy is unique. Listen to your body, ask questions, and partner with your healthcare provider. They're your best ally on this journey. If this video helped you, please hit the like button and share it with a friend who's expecting. And if you want more trusted, science-backed pregnancy and health tips, make sure to subscribe to Reboot My Body. We're building a supportive community right here. And now, I'd love to hear from you. What part of the first trimester surprised you the most? Or what's the biggest challenge you're facing right now? Drop a comment below. I read every single one. Take care, Mama. You're doing an amazing job already.